Hello guys and welcome back to Between the Ropes TV. Now, as you can see, I've got a very special guest with me. We've got Welsh schoolboy Troy Hayer with us. Troy, how are you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm doing good, thank you. Oh, it's brilliant to have you on. Uh, and just a quick little bit of background, guys. We're going to dig deep into Troy's boxing career so far. But, you know, Welsh national champion, Tri-Nations champion, you know, the kid's got a bright future. He's already achieved so much. Uh, and let's let's get straight into it. Let's not mess around. So, I mean, Troy, I suppose we'll start at the beginning. Who or what got you into boxing? Like, how did the sport catch your eye? Well, my dad, really. I wanted to start doing it because I was self-defence, because I was in school, just in case I got bullied when I was younger. But then, yeah, I started hitting the bag and I got into it. And then I got into kickboxing at around four years old. And then, yeah, I was that's about it. And then I won a couple of titles in kickboxing. But the only thing with kickboxing, I didn't like to kick a lot. I liked punching. So I thought oh, I'll go into boxing. And then, yeah. It went from there. It's funny, that, isn't it? Because I know Ricky Hatton, I'm a big Ricky Hatton fan. Uh, and he was similar. He did kickboxing uh, in his childhood. And he was he was the exact same as that. He just preferred the punching side of it. So, I mean, obviously, you've just talked about how kickboxing sort of transcended into boxing. Was there a moment when you realised, I mean, obviously, you know, you're only 14 now, so I appreciate it's still early days for you. But was there a moment where you thought, actually, I really like this and can make make something of it? Yeah, when I won my first Welsh title, that's when I thought, oh, I might be able to get a bit out of this. And I wanted to go, like, far. I went to obviously get bigger and better. Like I'm now winning another Welsh title, Box Cup, and a Three Nation title. So. Oh, there you go. So, I mean, obviously, I suppose the training is going to be hard and we've had professionals on who sort of gone in and sort of given us a little bit, you know, a day in their life type thing, obviously, whether that's juggling it around work or they may even be full-time boxers, but obviously, you know, that then it can tend to be more training sessions and it can be obviously quite a grueling schedule so you know what does a day or a week look like for you around obviously your studies and your education well i'm not really the smartest in school so i tried to leave that out of it but if i don't have school i normally run in the morning and then at around one o'clock probably do something out out and back training and then in the night, go to my gym premier. No, brilliant. So, I mean, obviously, you know, you're part of the Welsh boxing development team. Obviously, how is that in terms of, you know, is it competitive amongst yourselves or are you all supportive of each other? Obviously, I think, you know, those watching, we've all been there when, you know, you're a younger lad. Sometimes the competitive streak takes over, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm probably one of the youngest up in the Welsh boxing, so it's probably hard for me, sparring heavier boys, older boys. But it's going to give me all the better for tournaments now. In October, I'm going to Ireland, fighting. Yeah, fighting. And hopefully in the future, I want to get to the Commonwealth Games in about four years and carry on going up in the ranks. I was going to say that was actually uh, going to be my next question. Obviously, me and you have spoken a little bit off camera. You know, you've beat two Scottish national champions, two English national champions. Have you got a a victory that really stands out for you as I performed really well, or you know that was special? Well, I fought a boy last December, George Ralph. He's just won a European bronze. So that was probably a good win. So, yeah, the Europeans just went. I wasn't allowed to go because Welsh boxing was focusing on the Commonwealth Games. So, a bit disappointed. A bit disappointed, though, but, I mean, I, I said it to you off camera. I think it's uh, you. that's got to be motivation for the, you know, that's the levels you're obviously operating at. And going forward, you know, big, exciting things. And it's sort of, as boxing fans, it makes us on this channel sort of think, well, a name to watch out for. I mean, obviously, you just briefly touched on the Commonwealth Games there. But, you know, do you want to stay as an amateur? Is it Commonwealth Games, possibly Olympic Games? Or have you got eyes on the pro ranks as well as you get as you get older? 
Yeah, I want the Commonwealth Games so when four years come in, and then mm-hmm. I want to get to GB, and then hit the Olympics, and then after Olympics, hopefully sign with Edian or someone like that, and go up in the ranks in the pros, and win a world title. There we go. We'll have to uh, try by the power of the internet and get uh, get this over to Eddie Her mate, get him uh, get him looking at you early. I mean, in terms of boxing and style, what what sort of style? Do you fight under you a bit slick? You know, just I'm trying to paint a picture uh, for the viewers that are watching this. Well, I would like to be like a Canelo, like strong, come forward fighter. But I like to mix that up as well with like a boxing sort of thing, like slick. So both. But no, I mean, it's always good to be versatile, isn't it? I'm sure as your career sort of wears on, there'll be uh, times where, you, you know, the versatility really helps you out. So, I mean, is it a fair shout? My next question was going to be, is Canelo your favourite? Well, who is your favourite fighter? But is that Canelo? Yeah, I like Canelo a lot, yeah. Favourite boxer. There we go. If we uh, Obviously, we've got a big uh, all-women's card this weekend. But obviously, next weekend's the big trilogy fight. Are you backing Canelo to uh, come through tri- Triple G? Yeah, I think it'll beat him, to be fair. I think Triple G's a bit old now, so I think... He's younger, probably still in his prime. So I think he'll get the win. Do you reckon the uh, loss to Bivol will have affected him or he'll come through? Um, I don't think so because he put a lot of weight on the fight, mm. Bivol. So I think he'd be strong on his weight to fight Triple G. There we go. Right, we'll wrap it up there. Guys, check out Troy on Instagram. Uh, I'll drop his social media link in the description. So check out this lad's definitely a talent for the future for us all to keep our eye on and get excited about. And also let us know in the comment section, guys, we're trying to bring some different content and some different style of interviews. So let us know what you think. And I'm sure we can always get Troy back on. So if anyone's got any questions that they want to ask him in the future, let us know in the comment section. Troy, thanks ever so much for joining us, mate. Thank you. Um, can I-